Hey guys, what's going on today? Random Andrew here. Welcome to a random review. That's right, it's not technically a vlog now, is it? But hey, this is the first thing in 2019 that I'm posting other than uh, events that happened at the tail end of 2018, that very last vlog. But it still wasn't content from 2019. So what I got here for you today, something a little bit different. You guys know that I'm getting back into the camping, the bushcraft. Might even be doing a lot more of that this summer. I'm hoping, anyways. And on those lines, I have something I'd like to review for you today. You guys have already seen it on the channel, though. If you've been watching closely, you know that uh, I, I got a new axe. And this is wrapped like I wrap my Christmas presents. It's got some weight to it, but look. There's your first tent. It's got a wooden handle. Ooh, and it is pre-sharpened. Oh my goodness. It's pre-sharpened. How do you know what it is? Ooh, look at that. It's so pretty. I, I actually, I really love this axe. I haven't owned many axes in the past before, or really a whole heck of a lot of outdoors equipment. I mean, like, out, like backcountry kind of outdoor, you know where I'm going with that. So, if you've seen it, you've seen my Viking axe. Here it is, right here. Well, technically, no, this isn't. I had some issues with it. Now, first off, I'm gonna say, these issues aside, the company took care of them, that I ordered them from, and voila, I, I got a brand new ax. Plus, the issue was easily resolved. Like, sure, I, you probably shouldn't use it like this. So, let's get into explaining. This was the original ax that I bought. I'm going to pull up some information here so I got everything accurate and correct, and then uh, we'll do some talking. Got the page open, didn't take me long. So the listed name for this very axe, and as you see it's a bearded style axe, I think that's why I like it. Anyways, Viking Warpath Functional Battle Axe. Now I don't plan on going into battle with it, but I wanted a nice, light, easy to yield axe that's not going to wear my arms out. I've only actually ever had one axe before, and if you go back in my videos, it's got the uh, polyurethane orange handle on it. The axe head itself is thicker, more listed details. This only cost me $35. The shipping was free, and it was listed by a seller on eBay called Medieval Depot. So, Medieval Depot. Really good to. Uh, eBay score and everything, so I took the chance, it showed up, had it out, the first time I had it out, the I, the, the handle snapped. I, I do believe I got a clip of it right here. I'm really, really sad, and I'm also really, really lucky. What? Oh, did the head come flying off? Oh, nope, no. that handle. Regular swinging. You probably even see it on camera when it happened. Regular chopping, and it snapped. <gasps> that really upsets me because I was really, really enjoying this. The head's great. The handle's crap. Is that how it work? And yeah, I may have been way down on the handle and just wailing away trying to cut that tree in half, that log, but it split, it broke, and it shouldn't have. It was a flaw in the handle. You can't see it right now, but I can show you another example because this does have it. There's a knot right there. Maybe we'll throw it up on the overhead view and I'll give you guys a closer look at these handles in a minute. But it split, it clear split. I end up driving a screw through, drilled a pilot hole, put a screw through this way, and a screw through that way. That was after gorilla gluing the handle like precisely back together 
I'm lucky when it, the grain split, they didn't expand at all. There was no moisture got in there. It was just easy enough to do that. And then I bound it in this leather to keep it from flexing at all. And I've been using this. I have have not used this out there yet. You can see, and I'll throw this up under the overhead too to compare the handles. The grains are a little closer appropriate to where they should be, but they're still a knot right here. And that's exactly the same spot that this one broke. But I mean, if you really wanted to go on that warpath functional battle axe thing, you can dual yield now. <laughs> Not that I would. I really like using this just because I said, like, I have not owned a lot of axes before. I'm not a huge outdoorsman, but I'd like to improve upon that. Bear with me. So I've been using this to clean the logs, to, to chop a lot of the sideways sticking to branches, so that when we stack those logs together in our cabin, and our hut, and our bushcraft thing, they fit together a little more snug. And this does a very clean, very easy job of it. So overall, I give this a 12 out of 10. Even though the handle snapped on me, I was able to fix it, it's still very well functional. I would bring this with me as opposed to the other axe, which I wish I had, but I gave it to Craig. Then I could show you a side-by-side -side comparison. So before I figure out a way to close up this review, I'm going to throw it in the overhead and we'll take a look. Real quick though, I'll say I did film another review before this one and I was not happy with it, not at all. Uh, so I'm going to try and throw in some scenes using the axe. I'll pull them out of some of the other vlogs so you can see and hear it in action. And then uh, we'll have a look in the overhead view and see. I'll show you guys the grain up a little bit more. You'll see. You'll see what I'm up to. Yes. Bad at all. I think I like it. <laughs> it's not as heavy as the other axe that I have. It's a bit thinner this way. So it seems like it's actually getting a... I like where the weight is though. It's where the, ax the weight should be. Like that. I have a new favorite axe. So thanks to uh, Medieval insert name here medieval depot this is actually a really nice axe here we go a better overhead shot trying to get the lighting angle just right so you guys can actually see the grain a little bit better from what i've had explained to me since the grain it's it's going the right way and the fact that it runs with the handle but instead of being laid this way the grain should be this way. I don't know a whole lot about that stuff, but I'm just hoping it holds out a little bit longer than this one did, and if it doesn't, well, it's a good sign that it can be repaired. Oh, can I show you guys any bit of the original break on here? Yeah, you can see that right there. It hasn't quite, hasn't separated at all yet. Knock on wood. And the leather binding, I wouldn't mind doing the whole axe handle, but this stuff isn't easy to come by in long lengths, and trust me, it takes a lot of length. Never wrapped anything like that before, and see that pattern I ended up with? Not too shabby. There's this axe head after a bit of use. You can see it's, it's holding up rather well, and a good edge on them too. I'm really enjoying them. I am really enjoying this axe. Overall though, I'm gonna have to give this, like I said, a 12 out of 10. I would buy another one, in a heartbeat. I would recommend this. Depends on your axe style though. So like, I can't really recommend what you might prefer. But for myself, I really like this. I think it's awesome, a great axe. And Medieval Depot got right on it. As soon as I told them the handle split, they shipped me out. They shipped me out, the second one, absolutely free, no questions asked. They just said, no problem. We're on it. So I would buy from Medieval Depot again. I'd say they've earned that seller rating uh, for selling a real, something that they would either stand behind or replace, st uh, stand behind it by replacing it when it failed. Awesome stuff. Thanks for watching the review. Go check out Medieval Depot. 
They have an eBay store. They have a really awesome site. I'll post up all the information down in the description below. Leave a comment, you know, like what's your favorite kind of axe? Do you prefer something that's more of a historic use or something that's newer, more lightweight, functional, packs up, folds up? Like for example, my bow saw. I still use a full bow saw. It doesn't fold up or anything. And I've seen some really nice ones that do, but I like that nice solid feel of that bow saw. Right? So like I have a preference, whereas other people might prefer space saving or weight saving, right? Thanks for watching guys. Go check out Medieval Depot. Awesome store. They got some amazing stuff. Uh, period authentic stuff. And I tell you right now, if I had access to a bit more funds, I would have a lot more stuff. I'd be ordering my Viking shield, my armor. Well, not my armor, but my Viking clothing, my Norse outfits. And I, you, know, you guys get to see more period authentic stuff in the vlog. But that's a totally different subject altogether. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to shut up now. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you again soon. Review over.